thing you need to know about the new plug-in hybrid version of the BMW X5 is that the EPA rates its electric-only range at just 14 miles, and, of course, your results may vary. Which is another way of it saying that you'll need good luck to go even that far between charges. So you shouldn't expect the X5X Drive 40E to be a Chevy Bolt writ large. Commuting on electricity is possible only for those who have a very short drive. A 14-mile range would be just enough to allow you to traverse Manhattan from north to south or vice versa, assuming mild traffic. Plus, the top speed in EV mode is 75 miles per hour, so if your commute includes any expressway driving, you're better off selecting the save battery mode and reserving the EV driving for city streets. Also, in EV mode the X5X Drive 40E needs 22.6 seconds to reach 60 miles per hour. That is just 0.8 second quicker than a 2011 Smart Fort Woed. And it should be noted that using the inline 4 to charge the battery, as also occurs in save battery mode, is hardly an efficient practice. Its only dynamic failing is a spongy brake pedal that requires some concentration for smooth stops. When are makers of hybrids going to figure out that a blended brake system isn't the way to go? There are settings in modern cars for everything, why not have a regenerative setting, as in the all-electric Tesla Model S, and have the brake pedal solely operate the mechanical stoppers? It makes sense to us.